welcome to Just Love Sim Racing videos. So, today we are in Daytona with a nice Cupra e racer. And uh, well, I'll just show you this video because uh, I already did a video a few days ago with uh, Ford Mustang Mach E. And I was, uh, well, let's say a little bit disappointed. Uh, not really disappointed, but uh, not so enthusiastic um, about the performance of the. Uh, Mustang Mach E, and uh, now I've taken the second car in race room experience, which is the Cupra E Racer, and now I tried this one in Daytona. And uh, well, here we go on with the race here in Daytona on the super speedway with the infield, let's say the, the road course, not really the super speedway, but parts of the super speedway. It's a uh, Real nice track here in race room and uh, just want to show you the interior of that uh, nice Cupra and we cycle through different cameras. Here we go with the race. Race is starting now. It's just for a two lap race. We show you this nice car here. It's, uh, well, I have to say, really nice experience driving this car here. It's uh, Really good performance, especially I think uh, on the brakes. It's uh, a fantastic car on the brakes. I uh, really never have driven any car comparable with a braking performance like this uh, Cupra in this uh, hatchback class. And this is uh, all about the recuperation. It's uh, very strong, very good, and uh, extreme nice handling in this car, too. Very well handling, and uh, also the design looks very well. I love that uh, open uh, wheels on, on the back. You can look on the wheels of the other cars, and get the air out of uh, the tires of the brakes. That's really a nice design here. Have another look at the cars from the aerial view here on the oval part, going to the slipstream, going into the slipstream and overtaking on the oval part here. Let's uh, get a real good speed. I got uh, over 260 with this uh, eraser here, which is I, I did not get this uh, speed with a Mach E. Oh, let's have a look here. That's looking really nice on, on the oval, seeing them flying around here. Absolutely lovely these cars. And okay, let's say the, the speed is, is fantastic. They have a real good speed and as I said, uh, especially on the brakes, they have a fantastic performance. But uh, the only thing I do really uh, not like at all is, uh, well, let's say the sound, yeah, but that's uh, typical for an electric car and uh, maybe we have to get used to the sounds in the future, but as I said, performance is really good. Handling is uh, absolutely nice of this car here. Well, it's good experience driving this electric car, going a little bit wide here onto the green. So let's jump back again into on the inboard view here. And as I said, the handling is, is really good here. Have a, especially on the brakes, yeah. You can see it going, going through here. On, on the brakes, the feeling is really fantastic in this car. Okay, I have to say, the driving feels. Well, but that's typical for an electric car. Feels a little bit like. Uh, on a rubber band when accelerating, but well, that's, uh, that's clear that's completely different to, uh, let's say, to your hand shifted V8 engine or something else where you have uh, every single gear, you have a, a punch on the car. So it is just acceleration from the beginning to the end, like someone is pulling you with a rubber band, but it's okay for me. I said, uh, 
The only thing what I'm really missing is the sound, that uh, uh, eerie electric sound. I cannot get a friend to this, but well, that was a nice race. I hope you enjoyed this ride with this Cupra E-Racer. If you like it, give me a thumb up. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to my channel and see you soon. Back again at Retired for Gaming. So just back at the start again. <laughs> this was a very quick two-lap race. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Have a good start into the week. Come back soon. Back on the track for more racing action at Just Two Lap Sim Racing videos. Bye-bye.